Could you imagine 3D printing a eagle beak for holding your coat? Let's see how I sliced it. All right, guys, this mod over here is a collaboration between Astroflix and 3D Printable by Lucas, which is now an uh, inside designer from Astroflix. So they work together. This is really cool. And also, I know Lucas. That's why I am a huge fan. Most of mechanical models from Astroflix are designed by Lucas or he developed the mechanical parts of the model. This model was one of the first success from Lucas. So let's see, we don't have so much tricks on this. We have to choose between printing the tongue all together or divided by pieces. So let's delete this and now arrange the table. Uh, this was a model that I could print together. But uh, if you are not sure about your retraction settings, I would recommend to print this separately. Because imagine, this model uh, is supposed to be smooth outside. So if we print this together and the retraction are not nailed it, so maybe we have some blobs problems in here in the surface of the print. So if you calibrate already your filament, your printer, okay, print like this. That's what I'm going to do. But if you are not comfortable with your retractions, you are still with uh, stringings and blobbings, I recommend you to put separately this model uh, from the other. So let's keep this. Uh, I don't recommend you guys, and I think this is the first uh, tutorial that I will recommend you, uh, to not print this with a really small layer height. I think it's not necessary because we have a smooth surface, so it doesn't matter at all the details in the vertical orientation, okay? Which depends on the layer height. So let's increase the layer height to decrease our print time, okay? So 0 0.28, let's be more safer in here. 32 is almost the limit of the 0.4 nozzle. And let's keep the first layer height. So it's a tip for you. I never change my first layer height, even if I change the layer height of the entire model. Because if I nailed my first layer, my distance between the nozzle and the bed, I don't change this, okay? So I recommend you to keep it. And also, uh, let's keep three walls or we can increase this because this is going to be a technical print at all. It's also decorative. We are going to put in a wall and hold our coat, but also it's going to hold some weight of the jacket of your coat. So let's uh, improve the resistance of this print. Okay, so I will print with, uh, I think, four or five walls. I think four, it's a good average and that's why I save some time in here because I'm increasing the parameters which is making more uh, more print time but in here we are uh, saving with those uh, layers okay so let's keep it uh, I am not going to change nothing in here and the sim position I think I'm going to select it by the sim painting so let's do it before which uh, we choose the other settings, okay? So first of all, let's sim painting this part over here. Uh, we don't need to be so much concerned about it because this is going to be hidden like this. See, we cannot see uh, in this position. It, this is going to be, uh, this is the way it's going to be in the wall, okay? So the other one is this, let's put the seam inside as well in here no no like this in the corner i prefer in the corner like this one until the end okay and also in here like this the tongue i don't think we need to choose the seam it's okay because of the orientation and now let's continue we have the infill pattern. I, I'm going to choose the uh, honeycomb one because it's more resistant. The honeycomb, let me, let me show you guys. In here, for example, 
the honeycomb used to do two perimeters alternating. So we have two perimeters in some parts, one perimeter in another, and this is going to change every single layer. And then we have more resistance in different parts of the model. And also I think 5%, uh, I don't know, I think 5% is okay. We are already with four walls. Let's keep it in this way. But I, I think we could put something about seven, for example. Let's see. I think it's for the best, for the structure and the position of the module. Let's keep it in this way. And also, let's see if I put some, something else. No, I don't think so. Uh, do we need brain in this? Maybe? No, I don't think so. We don't need it. Uh, we do need some supports in here. Okay, so let's uh, choose support material, but I, I will auto-generate the supports. That's the only thing we need. Oh, we don't need the auto-generating supports. Uh, see, there are a lot of regions in here that we don't need supports at all, and the process slicer is going to put it. Let's return. And then I'm going to painting supports in here. For example, like this, and the other one as well in here. Okay, a small support is going to be easy to remove. Okay, that's cool. Let me see if we need supports in here, in those inside parts. We don't need, it's going to, to be printed just fine. Okay, so let's continue. The speed options, I'm going to keep it. We don't need to change anything. The advanced settings. Remember guys, we already increase the layer height. So I recommend you in those cases, when you increase, for example, 0 0.28, 0 0.32, I recommend you to increase your extrusion width. I put 20% more thickness in here, so 0.48, as a extrusion width, it's going to make our printer, our print is stronger because we have more walls and those walls is going to be more thicker, okay? So let's put 0.48 in here, four walls, and our print is going to be a lot stronger and this uh, was supposed to be because it's a technical print, okay? And I don't think we need to change anything else. The only things that you can check is your first layer, or for example, your bed level, okay? And also the filament settings, like temperature and something like you can try it out uh, instead the print settings that I just uh, choose in here, okay? I hope you guys enjoy it. Those slicing videos are an initiative from STL Academy, which is the educational project from Astelflix. So if you guys want to learn more about 3D printing, you could check our description and look at STL Academy courses. And don't forget, see you guys at the next slicing.